Lauren Underwood grew up in Naperville, Illinois. When she was eight years old, she was diagnosed with a chronic heart condition. Uh, that's what made her want to become a nurse, watching her own caregivers uh, back when she was a little kid. Lauren Underwood uh, became a nurse. She ended up taking her nursing experience to the Obama administration, where she worked at the Health and Human Services Department, uh, helping to implement the Affordable Care Act. Back home in Illinois, Lauren Underwood's congressman, Republican Randy Holtgren, voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and that's when things started to change in Lauren Underwood's life. Good morning, everyone. It's Lauren Underwood. We are here in Naperville. Hi. This is Lauren Underwood. Underwood. I just need to remind you to vote. I'm Lauren Underwood. I'm licensed as a nurse. I've spent my career working to expand health care coverage in communities across our country. I'm Lauren Underwood. Nice to meet you. When the 2016 election happened, I was faced with this America on TV that didn't look anything like what I knew. In a district that's never elected a woman, being a young millennial woman of color is certainly a lot for some people. No one invited us to this table. No one. And I think that's also what makes it so powerful. After the 2016 presidential election, with her hometown congressman voting to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, uh, Lauren Underwood decided she would run for Congress. 32 years old, she'd never run for anything. She's from the 14th District in Illinois, which is a solid red part of the state. It's a Trump district. 86% of that district is white. Voters there have never sent a person of color to Congress. They've never sent a woman either. Uh, by all accounts, Lauren Underwood was a pipe dream to fill that seat held by the Republican who had voted to take away her health care. Um, until she wasn't. Last night, Lauren Underwood won. She turfed out a four-time Republican congressman, 20 years her senior, in a race that everybody told her that she would lose. Today, the Chicago Sun-Times, look at that, put her photo on the front page right next to this headline, House Flippers. She is not a dolphin. She is a congresswoman-elect. Joining us now is Lauren Underwood, congresswoman-elect from the 14th District of Illinois. Uh, congratulations, Ms. Underwood. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Rachel. I'm so honored to be on. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you tonight uh, is because uh, I learned today, after you won, that you beat six men in the primary to get this spot on the ballot. I did, and in that primary election, we had a field of seven. I got 57% of the vote in that primary, uh, which is pretty unprecedented, and uh, went on to win the general election last night against Congressman Holcren. What is the secret of your success to winning that primary, to winning in a Trump district, to unseating a four-term incumbent? Um, to what do you attribute this? Well, when we launched this campaign, we had a goal of being everywhere in our district all the time. You see, this is a seat that was formerly held by the U.S. Speaker of the House, Dennis Hastert. Mm. And a Democrat seceded him, Bill Foster, but it had been a long time since there was uh, real grassroots uh, Democratic involvement, uh, training, and an opportunity for a candidate to be able to travel to the rural and suburban parts of the community and really build and mobilize a campaign that could be uh, successful. And so we said that we were going to go to even the most rural um, parts of the district, maybe that hadn't been touched by a Democrat in 10 years. We had farmers tell us that no Democrat had knocked on their door in that time frame. And we uh, showed up and showed up and showed up in those living rooms, in those fields, um, and in those cul-de-sacs to engage our neighbors. You were 30 years old when you decided to run for this seat. You're 32 now. You're going to be one of the youngest people elected uh, to Congress. Um, and as an African-American woman, as a woman of color running in this district, I mean, that itself was such a, has to have been such a steep climb. I mean, I, I mentioned in the introduction, it's an 86% white district. You're running as a first-time candidate, as a woman, as a young woman, as an African-American woman. Uh, I, I want to know whether or not that was daunting for you, whether that was a factor in terms of your confidence and in your game plan. Well, this is my community. It's my home. My family moved to Naperville when I was three years old. And so this is the community that taught me to be a black woman in the world. And so I uh, certainly never crossed, it never crossed my mind that I was somehow not a good fit or unqualified to seek this seat and run for this position. Um, and so I stepped forward. And with the help of so many women in our district, we were able uh, to do what many folks had never imagined would be possible. Um, and I'm really proud that our 
Election Day was 50 years and one day after Shirley Chisholm became the first black woman elected to the United States Congress, and I will be, upon swearing in, the youngest black woman ever to serve in the United States Congress. What are your priorities for when you get there? Are you, do you have a dream in terms of uh, committees, in terms of legislation to work on? Obviously, you are getting there as part of a new Democratic majority. There's no Democratic majority in the Senate to work as a partner, but there will be co Democratic control of those committees, and uh, you're coming in as a bit of a star. Oh, thank you. Well, I am really focused on health care. It has emerged as the number one issue in the election across my community because premium prices are high, prescription drug prices are high, and so many families across northern Illinois are feeling squeezed. As a nurse, I know how important it is to protect pre-existing conditions. I also have a pre-existing condition myself, and so this health care agenda, lowering prices, uh, making sure that we can expand coverage and include real mental health care reforms are the things that I want to immediately begin tackling. Illinois Congresswoman-elect Lauren Underwood, it's such a pleasure uh, to have you here. It was, it was a, a joy to follow your campaign from across the country, uh, and good luck to you. Please, please keep us surprised. Stay in touch. We'd love to see how this goes for you. Thank you, Rachel. All right, thanks. We'll be right back. Stay with us. This grave constitutional crisis thing. The people in the room, they gasped. It then became clear what this was about. That's really, to use a legal expression, that's when the hit the fan. This is a story that is not well known. What stuck in my mind about it was this was in the White House. The fact of the matter was, he was a crook. Oh my God. But it really should be, especially maybe now. Rachel Maddow and MSNBC present Bagman. Binge all seven episodes now. Here we go. Discover, I like your card, but I'm absolutely not paying an annual fee. Discover has no annual fees. Really? Yeah. We just don't believe in them. Oh, nice. You would not believe how long I've been rehearsing that. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. Sam, why is your head covered in bubble wrap? Because I'm not covered in life insurance. You should check out PolicyGenius.com. They compare all the best insurers to help you find the right policy. So it's super easy, unlike this. Compare and save with PolicyGenius.com. It's hard to believe that Brava can go from zero to 500 degrees in under one second. Or that it precisely cooks three different ingredients at the same time. It's hard to believe that Brava tells you when your perfectly seared steaks are ready. Or that it roasts a whole chicken in half the time. But seeing is believing. And when you cook with pure light, the difference is as clear as day. See for yourself at Brava.com. This holiday season, families near you need your help. Visit redcross.org now to donate. At Wayfair.com, we think that when the big stuff ships free, it's just better. Cover better, crunch better, crunch better, rock better, roll better, roll better, dream better, clean better, yeah, better! Oh, Wayfair has free shipping. Game changer. Fast better, free better, everything's better when it's free shipping. Orders over $49. Shop better at Wayfair.com. Wayfair, you've got just what I need. Do I use a toothpaste that whitens my teeth or one that's good for my teeth? Now I don't have to choose. From Crest 3D White, the whitening therapy collection with new spearmint and peppermint oil. It gently whitens, plus it has a fortifying formula to protect your enamel. Look for a $1 coupon in this Sunday's paper. That's the only circumstance to which you would separate. Can't imagine doing other one. This is Caitlin Dickerson from the New York Times. This isn't the only case. Very little documentation. I know that's not true. And the shelters really don't know what to do with them. I just got another person at DHS to confirm that I have this number. We're going to publish this story. I'm not ready to lose my hair. Not now. But I never thought there was a real solution. Now I use Keeps, the easiest way to keep my hair. And I can get my treatment without leaving the couch. Go to Keeps.com to learn more. Lame.